Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to find the profit maximizing output of a monopoly based on a table. We've got kind of a short one. Uh, the monopolist, which is a firm that holds a monopoly, can produce up to six units. And here are the prices. Notice as they lower the price, uh, they're going to sell more quantity. We've also got total cost there and then total revenue. Um, so the really slow way to do this is to calculate uh, total revenue uh, and then just take it the difference of total cost. It's not really the, the preferred way in economics, but let's do this the slow way, I guess. So total revenue is just, uh, it's good to write down the formulas here. It's just price times quantity. And then profit is going to be total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so at the first one, it's just, we can do a first couple in our head. It would be uh, 145 times zero, so it'd be zero. Second one, 125 times one, 125. The next one, 115 times two would be 230. Oh, I guess I can do most of these in my head. Uh, this one is three hundred and nine dollars. Here's where we, here's where we went awry. It's ninety three dollars and fifty cents times four, so that's three seventy four. And I did this one earlier, but I I've forgotten. So five times eighty five, four hundred and twenty five. And then uh, six times seventy-seven fifty, four hundred and sixty-five. Okay, so now we've got all of our uh, total revenue. We can then take the difference between these two, and that'll give us uh, the profit. So this will be minus twenty. This will be ten. This is thirty. This is 25 plus 9, 34. This is also 34. This is 30. We're back down to 30. And then this one is 25. Okay, so most of it I did in my head. Okay, so we're just going to pick. Uh, we, have, we have a choice, really. We have uh, either of these three or four. Um, and then the price would, would correspond to that. So the what this question is getting at, we have since we have to pick one or the other, um, what we really should do is look at the, if we want to profit maximize, we want to produce the last unit where the marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost, or ideally where marginal revenue would equal marginal cost. So how do we get at, how do we get at those? So marginal revenue is the uh, change in total revenue divided by the change in um, in quantity. Now the changes in quantity are going to be really easy because um, it's just a change of one. Okay, so let's calculate all of that. We can do this without a calculator. I don't know. We'll see. So I want marginal revenue right here. And I don't have marginal revenue for the first or the zero units because there's no there's no quantity negative one, so you'll never have that. Okay, so the change in total revenue there would be 125. The change here would be 95. The change here would be 79. The change here is at 65. I think so. The change here would be 26 plus 25, 51. The change here, 75 plus 65. I better grab the calculator here. 75 plus 65 is 140. That can't be right. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong here. See, make mistakes there. It's just the difference here. So it's just 40. It, c it couldn't have been that high. So I was going into the next... The next numbers there. All right, so now um, 
we've got we just look at total total the change this is the change in total cost this was the change in total revenue okay so we don't have anything there and the change in total cost is 95 the change so we're looking looking at here to here here to here this is 85 here to here 75 here to here mm, uh, 65 now that was convenient and then here to here mm, 55 and here to here what well, it's interesting they're getting smaller uh, here to here is 45 huh interesting um, anyway so now we can actually see the profit maximizing quantity is going to be right here because this is the last quantity where this happens or the only quantity where that happens if you produce the next one um, marginal cost is higher by four so we don't want to produce that so the answer is four and the price we're going to pick is ninety three dollars and fifty cents so that is how to do one of those with a table